Hey everyone, Dan Shore here with another keyword research tutorial, this time using SEMrush and SlideShare together to uncover content opportunities where you can create content and then rank that content in Google. So you may have been searching Google in the past and you see a SlideShare result ranking, but oftentimes you might think, well, SlideShare is not the best result. It's usually just like a random PowerPoint somebody uploaded to SlideShare before giving a presentation. They're not usually well thought out pieces of content and certainly not the best UX result in many cases. So if SlideShare is ranking for something, it's often a sign that Google is really trying to look for content to rank that might be somewhat relevant or somewhat authoritative, but it's not the best. And so I'm going to show you how to uncover these opportunities at scale in SEMrush. By the way, my free SEM rush uh, for 15 days link I heard was expired, so I'm looking for a new one. I'll update my, uh, my description, I'll leave a comment, I'll let everyone know when I have another link with a free 15 days for SEM rush. So let's get into uh, today's examples. We've got slideshare.net in the search bar. We're under organic research. And then you can start with some simple filters. So. I'm using sales as, as an example first. I recommend beginning with a broader topic and then getting smaller. I wanna see things ranking on page one. Again, you can get even more specific with that. You could, you could say less than five and see just where SlideShare ranks position one, two, three, four. And then I like to just do a difficulty of 70 or less. It's not super scientific with that, but I'm just trying to clear the really highly competitive stuff right off the top. I find that's a pretty good range to begin with. And again, you can adjust up or down depending upon what you find. But doing this for sales, uh, I found very quickly a great opportunity for 30, 60, 90 day sales plan. It gets a lot of search volume. Here's SlideShare ranking. But then check out the domain authority gap on everything else here. 13, 6, 41, 32, 53 is getting a little higher. Uh, 96, but it's not quite relevant. Uh, 18 and 42. This is a huge opportunity. In fact, I have a client in the sales space, so I'm probably going to be sending this over to them. I've given it away to you though. So if you want to take it and run with it, if you're in that space, be my guest, feel free to do that. Second example is engineering. A little random on my, on my part. I understand that there's different fields within engineering, so this might be a little broad, a little hit or miss. But again, uh, filter for everything on page one, below 70. And I also wanted to take out any keyword that had PPT or PowerPoint in it. Because when people are searching for, you know, uh, engineering service business model PPT, they're specifically looking for slides. So SlideShare is the good result there. So that's not what you want to go for. So by filtering that out, you can get rid of that stuff. I did find a good opportunity doing that for engineering economic analysis procedure. That's a mouthful. Um, if you're scanning it, you might be thinking like, why is this an opportunity? There's all these high domains ranking here, including SlideShare. The opportunity here is more in relevance and in my opinion, quality and recency. This is old, it's from 2009. This is like some random title tag. This is a random PDF in some, you know, .edu site, a random PDF, PDF, PDF. So. The point I'm getting at here is there's no really like nice consumer facing design friendly quality piece of content with like stuff that makes it easy to consume. So I think this is a great opportunity for that reason. But one thing you might notice here is if I go all the way down, I've got 47 pages of results for the topic engineering. So this is where you might say, okay, let's get a little more aggressive and maybe even go things ranking up to position five. And I haven't done this yet. I'm not sure what's going to be here or what we're going to uncover. But by 47 pages of results being there, I think there's probably going to be something with a lower difficulty and ranking more highly on page one. So let's see what SEMrush finds. So there's still a lot. There's only one page, but definitely a lot of results here. Um, some things with good, pretty decent search volume. So again, example of just like do the start with 70 and stuff on page one. And if you really need to dig further, just keep playing with the filters until you find that sweet spot of what you're looking for. Third example here is you might be thinking SlideShare is probably good for B2B stuff, business stuff, but there actually is some consumer like content on SlideShare. So again, I started broad. I chose the word diet. This would be good for anybody in the diet space, the fitness space, nutrition space. Again, starting with 11 and 70. And right away, 
uh, you know, you can scan the results here yourself, but I just kind of picked a couple slightly at random here. Plank diet. Plank diet has a decent domain authority gap here, especially with something domain authority 12 ranking position three. But the other thing is nothing else is really that great here in my opinion. I did look through these. Here's domain authority 30, uh, 31, 38, 10. So uh, there's a really good domain authority gap. So I, if anybody was in the nutrition space, the diet space, with a medium authority site, maybe even slightly lower, you could create a great piece of content here and probably rank that. But uh, also I think just quality-wise, there could be better results. And then the other one I chose a little bit at random is three-week diet meal plan. Now, I want to quiz you a little bit here. Here's the SERP. The keyword is three-week diet meal plan. I'm going to scroll through here. I want to see if you see what I found. As I'm scanning the results here, what is the opportunity gap? Why as an SEO do I get super excited about this potential topic? So if you're not sure, I'll tell you, it's a relevance gap. Check it out. There's only one result on this page that actually has meal plan in it. Nothing else here addresses specifically a meal plan as one piece of content. The fact that 590 people a month are searching specifically three-week diet meal plan means that this search deserves a piece of content solely around that topic, around the meal plan specifically. This one maybe is slightly there, but it's a domain authority one. So anyways, point being huge, huge, huge authority gap, very high search volume for something with that good of a gap in it. And again, just searching, you know, starting with diet, uh, you could get very aggressive if you wanted to. And again, maybe maybe shoot for something domain authority uh, or keyword difficulty 60 and lower, ranking position 5 and lower. I haven't done this yet, but so SEMrush finds some pretty good things here. Carb Knight Diet, John Bergman Diet, some things that I haven't heard of, the Metabolic Diet, the Two Week Diet. There's so many diets out there. But I think the point here is like, this might've been a little aggressive. So then maybe, you know, you adjust it back up. Let's go back up to 65. And there's some more. So you're just trying to find that sweet spot between the competitiveness, the ranking position. Also, if you want to do this too, here's another little, little idea you could you could go higher in difficulty, but lower in volume. Cause sometimes SEM rush will say things are higher difficulty when they're not. So then you could do something, let's say less than a thousand searches a month. Let's go really high for a moment. I'm still setting some difficulty cause I really don't want the stuff that's very obviously super, super competitive. But volume can be a loose indicator of competition. So now we're getting some really, really interesting stuff here. You know, I would probably filter out PDF and filter out PowerPoint. So I'm, I'm just going to take a peek. peek uh, <laughs> I'm just going to take a peek here, and then we'll we'll end today's lesson. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of good things here. So by going a little higher difficulty, but a little lower in volume, setting that volume limit at a thousand, uh, I think that's going to uncover introduction to diet therapy. That's going to uncover a lot of different opportunities as well. And then of course you want to review everything manually in the search result. Uh, look at relevance, look at quality, look at domain authorities and see if there is in fact stink bug diet. Ugh. See if there is in fact an opportunity for you. So I hope you found this lesson useful. Check out my SEO podcast, Experts on the Wire. Uh, again, I'm going to get that SEMrush free 15 days link fixed so it works again so you can get free 
15 days on SEM Rush if you want to give that a try. And you can find me on Twitter, Dan underscore Shore, S-H-U-R-E. Leave any comments, questions, complaints, or just chit-chat in the discussion below.